It was out of guilt and repentance that one of France's most notorious jihadist recruiters joined forces with one of its premier de-radicalization specialists. Farid Ben Yatou was a preacher who sent the Charlie Hebdo killers on their path to jihad. It was more than friendship, it was complicity. At 15, Ben Yatou found radical Islam and soon developed a substantial following, encouraging jihadists to go fight in Iraq. Ben Yatou was especially close to the younger of the two terrorist brothers, Sharif Kouashi. The 32-year-old Kouashi was arrested before he made it to Iraq and ultimately turned his hatred on France. I encouraged him at a time to go to Iraq. When he had doubts, he came to see me, and I would dispel those doubts. But both men wound up in prison. While Kouashi's views hardened there, the company Ben Yatou kept actually helped him to de-radicalize. The simple act of building relations with other people opened my mind. The other thing that really helped me was the assistance of my Jewish neighbors. When I got out of jail, they knew I had been in prison and why I had been in prison, but they opened their door to me. Once released from prison in 2009, Ben Yatou claims he tried but failed to de-radicalize Kawashi. Now even more extreme, Kawashi reportedly went to Yemen to get weapons training and started to follow American-born cleric Anwar Alalaki. De-radicalization expert Dunya Buzar says that even though Ben Yatou was not able to stop the Kawashi brothers, those like him who have been down the extremist path can be powerful examples for those under the influence of jihadist groups. Though ISIS has lost its territory, she says its recruiters have not let up, targeting young people who know very little about Islam, and the way they target young people is efficient. ISIS looks into the profile of each young person and adapts its jihadist ideology according to the psychological profile of each. It touches everyone, rich, poor, Christian, Jewish, atheist, Muslim, practicing and non-practicing. Buzar has worked with thousands of young people and their families, like this young girl from the countryside who tried three times to go to Syria, but never got there. I became a real robot with no heart and no feelings. Ben Yatou still takes some responsibility for France's first major terror attack of the millennium. It is I who instilled in him the ideology. I participated in some way. There are some estimates that 19,000 people in France have radicalized, 2,000 of whom are considered extremely dangerous. So it is a race against time. In New York, Amy Kellogg, Fox News.